Well, good morning, fishing freaks. It's another day, and there's more bass to catch. Today, we're on Lake Livingston, not too far away from Lake Conroe, taking out the Mystery Tackle Box boys. We've got Ross and Matt that are going to join me here in just a minute. So, we got a shallow, dirty water lake right here. Uh, the water temperatures are in the mid 60s right now. And I've never fished deep out here. The fish are usually pretty shallow. So we're planning on fishing uh, shallow cranks, Texas rigs, maybe a little shaky head. Uh, we've got a lot of docks around here. So we're gonna just fish shallow, put our nose to the grindstone, and see what we can come up with. Matt and Ross have arrived What's up, guys? all the way from the northern Shark. land. <laughs> Looks like they're on vacation here. We're gonna catch some fish today, I Shorts think. Relaxing. No flip-flops though. We got flip-flops. <laughs> We're gonna tie some stuff on. We're gonna to get to fishing. Matty K, take us home. We're doing some uh, some rip wrapping. Doing some grinding on the rocks, spinner baits, crank baits. First thing in the morning, you see all these birds down here, um, and we've seen bait fish following our baits in. And anytime you see that, you know that the shad are still spawning and doing their thing. So take advantage of that early morning opportunity. Oh gosh, I just had one. You got one? I lost mine, it came off. Oh, nice fish, dude. Decent fish. Was that twice you got bit or just once? That was just once. Oh, there he goes, he's pulling. Hold on again. I think he's gonna jump one more time. Jump, and I'll swing him. He's a, he's a oh, bulldog. Ready. That's the old Livingston Bulldog right there. Nice fat fish. fish. Heck yeah, bro. Three pounder. Yeah. Good start to the day. See that, Ross? Nice fat tail. Let's check out that tail action. Let's get a little yeah, post game it? report, maybe. Tail looks pretty beat up. He might have been on a bed. He's got some scars on him. Might have, might have already done his deal. Came real shallow. Hammered it. Nicely done. Got it on that, that chatter bait. Chatter bait. Nice. Nicely done, Matt. Good start. We still got some shad spawning activity going on. If you guys see these birds out here, they're uh, they're picking off shad. And I just had a bump. I lost my fish, and then as soon as I lost my fish, Matt got bit immediately. So might be one or two more down there. Got him. All right, Matt's got another one. Good sign, dude. Like that. Not quite as juicy, but ooh! ooh <laughs> Look, he's been feeding on some shad. Yeah, Did he up. spit one out? Yeah, I think he spit one up. He spit out some too. girt. Oh yeah! Look at that, baby. Yeah, chunky Dude, one. Dude, look at that guy, man. Oh my gosh, he's thick across the back. He's been eating, that's for sure. That's a nice, nice fish. Pound it. Real shallow again. Real, Real shallow. shallow. They like they like it in the dirt out here. Look at that, guys. Ross caught a, he, he, he was trying to mate. His bait was trying to mate with that shad. That looks just like it. It was like the perfect profile. Doing the old switcheroo here to a, to a cronk. Chartreuse and purple. Let's see what we can do. Got him? Big one. Feel good? Big one. Juicy? Uh oh. Matt's, okay, Matt's got a good one. I don't know what it is. Gator? I don't know what it is. Could be a big catfish? Might be a big catfish. Drum. It's a drum. Oh gosh, it's a hammer. hammer it's a hammer too. drum. <laughs> yeah, but that felt like a Dude, monster. <laughs> Oh my goodness, he slurped it. Look at that, guys. That's when you know the shatter around when you're just getting, you got catfish, you got drum, you got largemouth. Look at that land job. You've done that before. You got a lot of these up in Lake Michigan too. Do you? Oh yeah. Look at that ugly thing. That thing looks he like it, it belongs on a cartoon. Goodness gracious. Go. Not the right species, but that was exciting for a yeah. second. It'd be good, uh, good on a taco. 
immediately just ripped drag. Doom! I yeah. was like, oh no. I was like, when's it gonna jump? Oh, Ross is hooked up. Ross with a bass. All right, sweet. The old Yig bass. That was fun. There we go. Nice. I got, on the board. I got something here. I don't think it's a bass though. A log? I think it's a I think it's a grass fish. Oh, the classic. Oh, oh, I got a turtle guy. Stephanie would be so mad at me right now. <laughs> she loves turtles. Oh. oh goodness. Oh sorry, buddy. Alright. We'll get you going. Oh! Alright, see you turtle. Okay, I'm on the board. Confirmed <laughs> turtle catch. So we've got I just, I just had a bass bite this like three times. Oh, what is this? A drum? I got a drum! No! Daggummit! We're catching all, all sorts of things here today. <laughs> My drum's bigger than your drum. It is, dude. Yours looks a little bit healthier. Mine is definitely, yours look like it been through the war. It looks like it like, it like spawned out or something. I don't know why it looks so weird. It's okay, I am, I am a little scared about this pliers. treble hook situation right now. How you doing? Oh, sure. Look at my drum. Thank you. No, my boss, he, he fish for competition. Oh, yeah? And he said that, uh, I told him you got good catch, and he said, why they use it for lure? <laughs> uh, and I saw you throwing it back, and I said, man, that's hard. How can you think and I eat it? <laughs> so anything you're going to throw away, let me know. I'll take it. You want, this, you want this drum? Yeah. You got a cooler? You got a cooler? Well, we're gonna be here for like 10 minutes probably going around here. Okay, Multi-species challenge, throw it in the cooler for that guy. Yeah, definitely <laughs> throw it in the cooler for that guy. Oh yeah, this is a, this is good. That's a right fat here. one right there. That's a nice little white bass. Oh yeah, he's gonna be pissed if you throw that back. <laughs> oh yeah, I couldn't do it to him. We got a we got a guy up here on the bridge that is uh he's wanting some some tasty fins. So uh we are just we're just hammering everything here largemouth drum white bass turtles not a catfish yet but i got a feeling <laughs> Keep doing that i got an inkling like we're due for a kitty cat let's see if you can play basketball oh for so much just go as far as you can <laughs> yeah i throw it up in the grass yeah i'm gonna aim for that grass patch right there so it's probably there we go Whoa. nice toss dude Matty K with the toss. That was good skills. Working a fish The smaller one will be just as tasty. It's one of spikes on it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Same thing. Grass. Here we go. Yeah. Nice toss. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you. Have a good day. Now that the shad spawn has worn down. We're having to break out the old slow tactics. We've got some Texas rigs, got some jigs tied on. We're gonna go work on the shallow cover. So we're fishing wood, we're gonna fish docks. Uh, anywhere that's got some shade on it. Okay. We're back at the dock. This has just been one of those days. Can't get a single bite. Once that sun came up, it was uh, it was all she wrote. I don't even know why I'm casting at a dock, having a single bite on a dock. All right, just making it back. Guys, today was one of the toughest days I've had out fishing so far this year. It was brutal. And the, the shad spawn was going off this morning though. That was good. So throwing the like the spinner bait and the crank bait, um, the chatter bait and all that. Uh, actually, Matt, you know, he did pretty good with the crank bait. I'd say that was that was the deal. But 
as soon as that sun came up, similar to like when we were on Conroe the other day, uh, the bite just got super tough. Like it just got really hard to catch fish and we tried everything. I've been on that lake a few times and throwing shaky heads, throwing jigs, um, throwing all that kind of stuff around docks normally catches the fish. But today I fished docks till my arm about fell off and I could not catch him. I was throwing a beaver bait. I was throwing a little craw bait. I was, uh, Matt was throwing a purple shaky headworm, which always catches them out there. I was throwing a crank bait. I was throwing a spinner bait. Like, I don't know what the heck was going on, but those fish, they must have fed late last night and early morning on shad, just gorged themselves on shad. And there were literally so many shad, you guys saw we were catching them on our lures that they just wouldn't bite during the day. It was completely, we were, we were helpless out there. Couldn't get them to bite. So if you've ever had a day like that, let me know in the comments uh, if you have any suggestions on things we should have done differently. But this was just like a dirty, shallow water lake. I've felt, probably fished it half a dozen times and always done well around shallow cover out there. Just not today. It was not today. But I had fun with the MTB guys. We still had a blast going. Matt's like uh, Tony Robbins. He's Mr. Positive all the time. He kept saying like, every time we go around a corner, this is gonna be the dock. This is gonna be the spot where it turns on, where it's gonna happen, and never did. So there wasn't a whole lot to learn from this video. Sorry about that guys, but we did end up feeding a guy. He was hungry on the bank. He wanted some fish, so we fed him. So at least we did our good human duty today and uh, fed a man a fish for the day. I think that's some saying or something like that. Feed a, feed a, feed a man a fish for a day eat or give a man a fish he eats for a day teach a man how to fish he fishes for a lifetime now that's what it is and that's kind of what we do here on this channel teaching you how to fish so you can fish for a lifetime i kind of like that i like the ring of that now because today sucked so bad i want to close this video out especially because the bassmaster classics going on i want to close you out with a little inspirational uh, teaser video. I got a new channel teaser I've been working on um, and every time I look at it, I've watched it probably like a dozen times and it just gets me excited to go out there and go fishing. So I'm gonna let you guys watch it right now. I want you to tell me what you think. Does it get you excited to go fishing? All right, fishing freaks. We'll see you next time. Fish. Let's do some of that, baby. Woo!